My name is Alexey Zaitsevsky. I am presenting Force Servo project. Force Servo is a new type of servo drive for remotely and automatically controlled devices. The majority of modern servo drives maintain a controlled position of the arm. Some servo drives have a current based torch control. It prevents our loads during operation, but they can't react to the force applied from outside. Force Servo is a servo drive with a feedback from a force sensor. The value of force is proportionate to the control signal and does not depend on the position of the arm. Here are some prototypes created recently. We have tested different resilient members, different form sensors, different controllers. Special stands were created for testing and tuning. For servo creates minimal friction between base and load. Its arm automatically runs away from any load which was applied from outside. For example, you can rotate the arm with a burnout match. This allows to isolate the load from vibrations on the unstable base. You may think that it is not possible to lock the position with such servo drive, but actually we are getting more accurate control. Our devices have no information about the position of the unstable base. The position is controlled with respect to the target in a 3D space. This idea was conceived during the design process of camera stabilizers. Other devices are using fast processors to detect and correct the position error regarding unstable base. We are preventing the transfer of the unwanted swinging. Few different camera stabilizers with a new servo drive were created and tested. This is a small drone with a stabilized camera. This is a drone for stereoscopic filming. This drone was created for Vilnius Police Department. This is a drone with a movie camera. This is a handy camera gimbal. This camera is moving on a thread. As it was demonstrated, now you can dance while filming with a long telephoto lens. This is a comparison between usual camera gimbal and our much smaller internal gimbal. They are designed for the same payload, but our version is smaller and lighter. Four servo units are used for angular stabilization and as an active damper for linear oscillations. Today our equipment is used in Lithuanian television studios. Now you can kick the video crown while filming and still have steady shots. By the way, other 1 million people work as a video operators, so we have a huge market potential here. When first prototypes of the Force Servo were ready, I started to think where else it could be used. I found that this servo acts like a living being. You can squeeze a hand, but you can't estimate the exact angle of your fingers. While driving, you rotate the steering wheel to one side or another until you see that your course is correct and you don't need to know the exact angle of the wheels of your car. It's not necessary. So I took a remotely controlled boat and replaced the usual rudder servo with a force servo. Water flow is returning the rudder to a neutral position. The new mechanism with the force sensors turns rudders more at low speeds and less at high speeds. Therefore it guarantees the safety of maneuvering at high speeds and improved maneuverability at low speeds. On this plane, force servo was used to deflect ailerons. The servo here also prevents high Gs at high speeds. And a more accurate work of a digital gyroscopic stabilizer was notized. Force servo is by far the best solution for a robot manipulator. When using force servo, the grip force does not depend on the size of the object. It allows to grab fragile objects of different sizes or a heavy one. Force servo can be used in various interactive interfaces. For example, it can be a joystick with an active feedback, or some other instrument which allows to expand virtual reality on a tactile level. This is an expandable device with a force feedback. It gently creates pressure equal to an energy of a living partner. Thank you.